Ultimate Sports Guy here, about to teach y'all a new sport. It's called Cornhole, baby! All right, here we have it. It's the game of cornhole, right here. All you gotta do first is find a partner. You got your X's and your O's. These are the bean bags. You simply toss them in the hole. All right, let's talk about scoring. So first, what you do is you take your little bean bag right here, and you just toss it towards the hole. And then you take your opponent, and he does the same thing. Just tosses it right towards the hole. It's that easy, baby. So you get one point for putting it on the board, and three points for getting it through the hole. Okay, so you got this board, and you got that board. And then you just take 10 paces and set them that far apart. Now, cornhole originally started in the 1960s in Cincinnati, but then it gained mass appeal and wide popularity in the state of Kentucky. So rather than explain everything to you, I brought in my friend, Cletus Clemens, to tell you more. Hi, I'm Cletus Clemens, here to give you a little background on the sport of cornhole. It started out in Cincinnati, just like Ultimate Sports Guy said. Well, after they just called it all certain things, they called it beanbag toss, they call it frogger, well, it gained great popularity in my hometown in Kentucky. And we, of course, just call it hornicle, because we're purists. Are you even any good at this game, Cletus? Oh, boy, you don't even know. I'm dang good. <laughs> Cletus, is there a governing body for this sport? Oh, sure. There's all kinds of governing bodies. I mean, this body governs right here, if you know what I'm saying. Cletus, do you know if this sport has been overseas yet? No. Cletus, what do they actually put in this bag? No. Cletus, that wasn't even a yes or no question. Yes. I'm Ultimate Sports Guy. Thanks for joining us today for Ultimate Cornhole, baby! Cletus, do you even know who Harrison Ford is? No. Nope.